Welcome to Accurate Physics. In today's lecture, I'm explaining how to solve the problem by using the conservation of energy principle. So let us read this problem. A monkey sitting on the top of a 95 meter tall tree falls suddenly. So look at here, this figure, this is a tree, the 95 meter tall. And at the top of this tree, there is a small little monkey. You can see here, monkey is located at the top, very top. What is the speed of the monkey when it hits the ground? So, uh, after falling from this height, it falls down here to the ground, okay, here. And uh, you have to find the uh, speed of this monkey when uh, it hits the ground right here okay so let's start from what is given in the problem the height of the tree is given that's only information we have uh, our goal that is target variable is to find the speed when monkey hits the ground when it reaches to the ground monkey reaches to the ground okay so how can you solve this problem let's work with a given things so first thing here is the height okay so height of tree is given i can write it down here which is 95.0 meter and what is the con concept to solve this problem concept is the let me write it down concept is conservation of energy what is conservation of energy conservation of energy states that the total mechanical energy denoted by m e and given by sum of kinetic energy and potential energy remains constant this must equal to constant so this is the principle of conservation of energy that means the total energy the sum of potential energy and the kinetic energy at the top of this tree when monkey is at the top of this tree and the sum of potential and the kinetic energy at the bottom should be same that is the principle okay so once we are able to figure out what is the principle behind this problem and uh, uh, what are the given parameters and the target variable we can solve the problem so what is our target variable the velocity or speed at the bottom of this tree which is what okay so next thing is what equation could we use to solve this problem that is the conservation of energy okay let me write down the total energy at the top of this tree which is uh, first of all let me write down the potential energy pro if m is mass of the tree z is acceleration due to gravity and y naught is height of the tree let's just denote height as y or let's say it's yes yes not it's a better to say yes not because we already represent height by yes so this is the potential energy at the top of the tree what is the kinetic energy kinetic energy is half m v not square okay so this is the total energy at the top what will be the total energy at the bottom that is m z s plus half m v square right so this term here is the total in mechanical energy at the bottom of the tree when the monkey arrives here monkey reaches the ground and this this left hand side this total sum of this is potential and this is kinetic right so this is the total mechanical energy at the top of the tree when the monkey is here on the top of the tree okay okay let's move to the equation no, tree is gone let me make a tree it's like this uh, 
ओके नाउ लुक एट दिस इक्वेशन सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन वी आर यूजिंग टू फाइंड द टारजेट वराइबल सो एट द टॉप ऑफ द ट्री द हाइट इज यस नॉट बट स्पीड ऑफ द मोंके इज जेर राइट भी नॉट इज जेर एट द टॉप वाई मोंकी इज सिटिंग ऑन द ट्री इट मीन्स मोंकी इज एट रेस्ट रेस्ट मीन्स स्पीड इज जेर राइट नो बेलासिटी नो स्पीड सो दिस टर्म विल बी जेर वेन मोंकी इज एट टॉप and at the bottom look at here when monkey reaches to the ground this height which is height this height total height then he says right no height so height is zero that's why at the bottom of the tree the, this height yes is zero so i can write down this height equal to zero okay so only remaining terms are m z s not equal to half m b square right if i rearrange this this equation i can eliminate this mass and the mass because both are mass of monkeys same mass and then remaining terms are s yes, g not equal to half b square what is v v is the speed of monkey at the bottom of the tree okay so it will be if you cross multiply this one to z s not equal to b square and from here b is equal to 2 z s not okay so what is z z is acceleration due to gravity so we know yes uh s not so s not is this one so i can put it s not here so velocity b is equal to 2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 95 right so if you calculate this one let me get the answer 2 multiplied by 9.8 and then 95 will give you after calculation it is giving me 43 43.15 meter per second so this is the speed of monkey when it reaches to the ground okay so unit of speed is meter per second 